The following video was made over the course of three nights of wide-angle photography. Hello, it's Phil Thatch and I'm here in my living room and this week on the David Saylor's live stream photo challenge, David's challenged us to make a photograph with our widest lens. Last week he said use your longest lens, so that was easy. Uh, it's, it's more difficult, in my opinion, to get a compelling photo with a wide lens. And uh, there's an album cover uh, called, it's the 598 EP. It's a Metallica EP that's called Garage Days Revisited. And it, they use an ultra wide lens and all of them put their guitar right in the lens and the drummer put a drumstick right in the lens. And I thought that was really cool. And I said, you know, I'll, I'll uh, try to do a shot like that and uh, because the viewer Bass Angler and I are both huge Van Halen fans, I thought I would get my PV Wolfgang autographed by Eddie Van Halen's son Wolfgang out of the case and uh, make that sort of a shot. So I've got my D800, I would use my Z6, but the flash bracket is broken on it, but the D800 is working just fine. And I've got my 14 to 24 F 2.8 the Yongno flash transmitter and receiver, my biggest umbrella, and look, I, uh, I'm, I'm shooting at F14 to, to try to get everything in focus because I'm gonna put the front of the guitar right in the lens and hopefully it'll get that beautiful lens distortion so the biggest thing in the picture will be the, the headstock area of the guitar and everything else will be much smaller and I'm gonna kinda lean my head forward and make a grimace and uh, you know be playing this E chord like I'm really crunching away. And uh, I've got the flash at full power, F14, 1 60th of a second, ISO 100. And uh, I've been taking this, I've been turning this light off for it. I've already got the shot, but I'm gonna just kind of demonstrate how it went. I set, set the timer and uh, I think it's kind of a 20 second timer. So that gives me a minute to kind of get ready. And I would kind of stand like this and make a crazy face. I would also take my glasses off, throw them over on the couch and uh, the flashes only do about three of the five times, and here we go. There's one. And then sometimes I'd pose crazy and it probably won't flash, it missed. Anyway, that's how it was done, and uh, I'll show you the picture now. All right, well that silly little selfie turned out just like I wanted it to with the smallest part of the guitar being huge and the largest part of the guitar being really small in the frame. So there was one wide angle shot and Heather and I worked on a lot more. The next shot, Heather worked on it all by herself. It was on the following night and I was still at work, but she went to the Wolf Teaver Creek Fishing Pier. She took the D7100 and the 11 to 16 ultra wide for small sensor cameras and made this shot looking down the fishing pier. All the fishermen were there. She didn't ask them their permission or anything. She just set up and started working and made this really cool looking shot that made that fishing pier look like it was a mile long when it's really not very long at all. Okay, so working on another uh, ultra wide shot to, uh, to try to do for uh, David Saylor's live stream, which is getting dangerously close. It's Wednesday and the live stream's less than 24 hours away. And uh, there's this artwork. We're here at, that's uh, ML King Junior Boulevard up that way. And that's Riverside Drive that it intersects with. And right here is the Tennessee River Park. The Tennessee River's just right over there. But there's, it's been raining all day and there's beautiful clouds. And this is kind of some new colorful artwork. And I'm uh, trying to make sure I get everything in focus. I've got, uh, I'm shooting at um, ISO 100. 1 30th of a second and F16. I've got the camera sitting absolutely level side to side and front to back. So hopefully that will mean not much distortion in the shot. A little bit of that uh, power pole over there is in the picture, which uh, I may try to Photoshop that out or I may crop the picture in just a little bit. I'll still be using all the 14 millimeterness top to bottom, just won't use it all the side to side. I'll may crop it to five by seven or something. Using the Z6 FTZ adapter 
and the 14 to 24 F 2.8, the widest of the Holy Trinity. All right, let's try this again. Auto exposure bracket on for five shots with a two stop increment, two second timer that does five shots. One, two, three, four, and five. All right, now I'm gonna turn the bracket off and take a picture of my hand. <sighs> Surely I can piece together something with that. I thought the sky was really beautiful that night, but if I was going to expose correctly for the piece of art, the sky would be completely white. So that's why I decided to do the uh, auto exposure bracket HDR photo. And if you notice the uh, brick columns that are flanking the piece of artwork in the background are perfectly straight up and down, and that is the result of keeping the camera perfectly level side to side and front to back. Well, Heather was getting really hungry, so we stopped in at Sticky Fingers for some Memphis dry ribs. We're gonna split this full rack. She's gonna have some beans. I'm gonna have some mac. It's gonna be good. I know this is a video about wide angle photography, but I always like to carry uh, kind of a vintage manual focus lens in my bag. And on this particular occasion, I had this old Fuji lens from 1974. It's a 55 millimeter F1.8 screw mount, M42 mount. And I took my uh, beer photo at Sticky Fingers. And now let's get back to some wide angle photography that took place after that. All right, well, I'm still trying to work on ultra wide and I'm kind of cheating a little bit because I'm at about 19 millimeters right now. I'm shooting this super cool pinball museum here on, uh, what street are we on, Heather? We're on Broad. Here on Broad Street. And uh, I'm at low one so that's 50 ISO my battery's almost dead I'm at f10 in four seconds I don't have a remote shutter release totally not prepared but I'm waiting until a car comes by to uh, to get this shot a little cooler I just re-verified focus I'm trying to get that pinball light to look good some there's some cool looking lights up high uh, I've got blue hour sky and if we can just get a car to come down Broad Street during this social distancing age on a weeknight, then uh, actually I, I wish a fire truck would come down the road or a city bus, but I would take, if just two cars would come, I can catch it and uh, get this picture to look pretty cool. That car just fired up. If another car would come while that car's backing out, that would be awesome. Oh, that dude was getting some carry out. Oh, the light is green. Pull out, dude. Here comes a car, and you pull out. Go. Ah-ha-ha! -ha. Let's see what that is. Oh-hoo! Preacher, 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 preacher! All right, I was really happy with the way this one came out with the light trails and the light star there on the street light. And if you look at the lights up on the balcony, they have the same star, but of course smaller on those uh, and I like all the colors in it with the blue hour and the the lights making some of the trees really bright green really turned out good of course now th the camera wasn't level on this one and all of my lines are not perfectly straight and I tried for a long time in Lightroom to get them straight but it ended up making the picture look worse and worse so I just kind of went back to the non-corrected version which I like uh, pretty much I mean I wish it was absolutely perfect I hope you like it too so I think David might be mad at me because I may be submitting three pictures even though the limit's two, but hey, I'm the guest on his live stream, so maybe he'll... Uh... I'm submitting one, so... Oh, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll take one of your spots because I'm just a pig. All right, well, uh, thanks for watching, Heather and Phil. I'm going to put Heather's uh, picture, although uh, she made it while I wasn't around, so I, I wasn't able to, uh, to vlog it. It's really cool. I'm going to put her picture in here. Um, I'm sure you've already seen it by now. So thanks for watching. Have a great day, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.